I am Dr. Adrian Martin, based at the National Oceanography Centre, and I'm just doing the last bit of packing ahead of spending the Christmas and New Year period in a remote and rough part of the Southern Ocean. The aim is to investigate the role that area has in the global carbon cycle. We know that the seasons are important on land because we see trees lose their leaves in the autumn. What we're less familiar with is the fact that the same is true in the ocean. We will be in the Southern Ocean at the height of the southern summer when the microscopic plants in the surface are blooming at their strongest. All of those plants are generating the same amount of new growth as all of the land plants put together, whether rainforests or the prairies. We know that without marine life processing all of that plant material, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere would be 50% higher than it is now. The reason we look in the southern ocean is because it's a motorway junction for ocean currents and where that new plant material ends up in terms of those currents can determine whether that carbon gets back into the atmosphere within a year or within a thousand years. The way that we will study this will be through collecting water samples and using that to determine the type of phytoplankton at present, which particular species, because it influences how deep this carbon penetrates, how nutrient starved they are in terms of you know, whether they need something like iron, for example, to increase their growth. Uh, but also to characterise what this material looks like as it sinks out. And all of that in the context of understanding this deep structure for the ocean currents to know where this carbon is going. Even though it is going to be summertime there, the weather we expect to be challenging. And that does mean that we're going to have to work 24 hours each day, even Christmas and New Year, in order to make sure that we collect the data that we need.